when I when I stand behind the anvil, I think, you know, there was there was a guy doing this a hundred years ago. There was a guy doing this a thousand years ago, several thousand years ago. Today, it's Kent Knapp picking up the same tools of the trade. I feel that it, it kind of ties me into the history of man. A modern day blacksmith. He's right in the upswing of consumer interest in iron fences, railings, and other architecture. But he says it's not easy being a blacksmith in the 21st century. There are people out there who appreciate what we do and understand uh, how much work is involved. And fortunately, some of them have enough money to pay for it. Um, but there, there are a lot of smaller jobs that you can do for your average Joe um, that everybody can afford. And so that's kind of our meat and potatoes. Knapp started offering weekend courses because of high interest from people wanting to learn. So we're going to start out by making a bottle opener. Now they help keep his business running. I've always been really intrigued by it, um, even as a kid. Aspiring blacksmiths learn how to use a hammer and tongs to taper, bend, and twist iron and steel. I didn't know what I was getting into. I just knew I was getting in the car and driving here. So um, I went in blind, and it's awesome. I'm having a great time. The Artist Blacksmiths Association of North America says they are working on a uniform curriculum because of the growing number of schools and courses. Knapp hopes to one day open his own full-time school, doing his part to keep the fires burning of an ancient craft. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.